Which hens lay the most expensive eggs? Which eggs are three times more expensive than caviar? And for which will you have to pay more than $100,000? Now you'll see everything. In this episode, I'll show you the most expensive animal eggs in the world, as well as tell you about the most unusual and rarest eggs and tell you how an embryo is formed in an egg. Let's go. Chicken eggs are a common product that literally everyone can afford, but chicken eggs come in different varieties. For example, only the rich can afford the eggs of this chicken. At a glance, it's clear what this is all about. This chicken is black, which makes it really special. This is the Ayam Samani, a very rare, ornamental breed of chicken native to Indonesia. Due to an abnormal number of melanocytes, the Ayam Samani is completely black. Even the inside of this bird is black. And what about the eggs? It would seem that they should also be black, but here nature decided not to complicate. Hens of this breed lay eggs of cream color with a slight pink shade. In short, they're not very different from typical grocery store eggs. But they are very different in price. The Ayam Samani is the most expensive chicken in the world. In Indonesia itself, a chicken costs about $200, and outside the country, the price for a bird can reach $2,500. The eggs of this chicken are also expensive, one of the most expensive in the world. But gourmets say it's worth it. Both the eggs and the meat of the Ayam Samani have a special flavor. Caviar Even though caviar is the offspring of creatures that live in water, this does not negate the fact that it's eggs, which means we can consider them alongside the chicken eggs, especially when it comes to price, and especially when it comes to the Almas caviar. This white caviar is considered the most expensive in the world. The notorious black caviar is not even close to this rare and expensive delicacy. It's about three times cheaper. Of course, the prices vary, but the premium Almas caviar can cost up to $16,000 per pound. Thus, the Almas eggs are one of the most expensive eggs on the planet. The incredible costliness is explained by a simple fact. It's extremely difficult to get the caviar. It's produced by albino beluga sturgeons, which is why the caviar is white. By the way, the albino beluga sturgeons are rare in themselves, but they also spawn once in a hundred years, starting to do it at an advanced age. All this determines the insane price. But again, as gourmets and rich people say, it's worth it. The almas caviar has no impurities, does not repel with its odor, and tastes like almonds. Elephant Bird but even this super caviar is not the most expensive in the world. Many people call the elephant bird the leader in this regard. This is not some strange hybrid, but only the name of the Epiornithiformes bird. These are birds that inhabited Madagascar until they became extinct in the mid-17th century. They are called elephants for a reason, as they are the largest flightless birds of all time. Some representatives of this family grew up to 10 feet in height and weighed up to 1,750 pounds. Of course, such giants laid not small eggs. The egg of the elephant bird can reach up to 12 inches in length and had a volume of 2.3 gallons. For comparison, this is about 150 to 160 times the size of an ordinary chicken egg. Of course, one would have to pay a lot for such an egg anyway, but don't forget, elephant birds are already extinct. Nevertheless, several dozen intact eggs of elephant birds have miraculously survived in the world. Because of this, the elephant bird egg takes on an even higher value. Wealthy collectors compete with each other for the right to own such a rare item in their collection and pay huge sums of money. For example, in 2013, one elephant bird egg was sold at an auction for an insane $100,000. There are no limits here, actually, so the price can be even much higher. I suggest that we leave the price issues at that and move on to the equally interesting part of the episode, the most unusual and rare animal eggs in the world. Eggs of unusual color, strange shape, record-breaking eggs, and much more. All this is waiting for you further. American Robin We're used to bird eggs being usually light-colored, but there are some interesting exceptions. One of them is the offspring of the American Robin. It's a bird that lives in North America. In itself, it's not particularly remarkable, but its eggs attract attention because they're blue. 
It looks as if someone painted them and put them in the nest. Well, or that someone decided to congratulate American Robins with Easter, but this is their natural color. Also, blue eggs can be speckled, which makes them even more unusual. By the way, even the world color scheme, the shade of the eggs of these birds has received its name. It's called Robin Egg Blue. According to scientists, such a color has an important function. Blue pigment in the shell serves the birds for protection from the sun. It reflects ultraviolet light, which is destructive to DNA. At the same time, the blue shell absorbs that part of the infrared rays that warm the contents of the egg, accelerating embryonic development. The eggs of the American Robin are strange only in terms of color, but there's nothing wrong with the shape. Now, look at these images. Amazingly, these are also eggs. This is what shark eggs look like. About 30% of these fish are oviparous and their eggs have very original shapes. Some shark eggs look like large spirals, some like shells, some like amber and some like capsules. But all this is not the work of the mother sharks themselves that compete to see which one will have a more original egg. The unusual shape of the eggs is designed to protect the offspring. The fact is that shark eggs are extremely vulnerable, and such strange shapes just help the baby to survive until hatching. For example, the spiral-shaped egg is covered with a horny shell and protects the fetus from predators. Plus, because of its shape, it can twist into the bottom like a screw and stay in place. That way, it won't get swept away by the current. Many other shark eggs have something like threads that also cling to the bottom so they don't get washed ashore. However, the attachment is not always reliable and the egg still ends up on land. In addition, seeing strange eggs with a protective shell, many predators simply don't risk eating them, which increases the chances that the baby shark will still hatch. Kiwi The egg of the kiwi bird is quite typical in terms of appearance. It has a standard appearance and color, but it cannot help but be called unusual because it's the largest egg in relation to the size of the female. The kiwi bird itself weighs about 5 to 8 pounds, while the egg that the bird carries inside it can weigh almost a pound. Here's what it looks like. While carrying the egg, the female eats three times more than usual, but two to three days before the egg is laid, it stops eating. By this point, the egg is already so huge, food simply doesn't fit into the bird, literally. At this stage, the egg can reach 8 inches in length, while the female itself can be about 20 to 27 and a half inches long. In short, the kiwi bird is about 3 to 4 times the size of the egg, and this ratio is staggering. It's the same if women were giving birth to babies weighing 33 to 44 pounds. The good news is that kiwi birds don't have to suffer for too long. The most difficult stage lasts a couple days, after which the female lays the egg and goes to rest. Incubating is done by the male, which the female can sometimes help. Green Lacewing Golden eyes are great insects. They bring great benefits to trees and shrubs in squares and parks, protecting them from aphids, leafhoppers, and caterpillars that curl and devour leaves. Moreover, adult green lacewings feed on nectar and pollen. Only larvae hunt pests. Here's what they look like. It seems that the green lacewing has planted many trees and plants, but in fact, this is how its eggs look like. The mother hangs the eggs a short distance apart so that the babies don't eat each other, and they can do it. The green lacewing larvae have an insane appetite. A few days after laying eggs, they hatch and immediately start looking for food. The mother knows this, so it tries to lay its strange eggs as close to the food source as possible. The way the larvae hunt is also interesting. They search for a prey, the prey rises into the air, and it's injected with a special secret which dissolves it from the inside for a minute and a half. Thanks to this, the young green lacewing can suck the prey digested outside its stomach. Mantis You probably know all about mantises, that the female eats the male after mating. Now you'll know something else, what their eggs look like. The mantis clutch of eggs is quite strange. It's called an uthaka, or egg pouch. It's a kind of foamy cocoon, which is brownish or white. The mantis lays eggs in several rows and uses special auxiliary glands on its abdomen to cover the eggs with a frothy substance that quickly hardens. The resulting capsule is so protective and robust that it can withstand freezing temperatures, exposure to chemicals, and attacks from some predators. One such capsule can contain up to 300 eggs. 
On average, the offspring mature in four to seven weeks and begin to get out of the Uthaga one by one. Pay attention. By this time, the babies already look like adults. Such individuals are called nymphs. Ten days later, the molt begins, which is repeated eight times during the month. This is the end of the transition period on the way to the adult insect. A sexually mature mantis is called an imago. And lastly, I suggest we talk a little bit about how an egg is formed in general. Let's take a chicken egg as an example. We know that hens lay it and incubate it, but what happens before the egg becomes an egg? Where's the shell and everything come from? In the first stage, the yolk is formed. This is essentially the hen's egg cell. It's formed in the ovary and ends up in the funnel of the oviduct where it lingers for 15 minutes. Then the yolk moves on. The formation of protein begins, which takes three hours. In order for the egg to form evenly, it's continuously rotated counterclockwise inside the oviduct during this and all subsequent stages. It takes another hour for the protective films to form around the delicate albumen. This is the outer and inner putumen. After that, the longest process begins, the formation of the hard eggshell. This takes the next 20 hours. After about 24 hours, the egg is formed and the hen can lay it. The chick develops in it for about three weeks, after which it hatches. That's all, guys. What do you think came first, the chicken or the egg? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.